it's still day five. Um, I just actually watched the last video that I put up, so I need to make the announcement. I'm going until, um, right now it's day 11. I'll be hitting day 11, so I've got six more days to go. I'm making the announcement to put myself on the hook to let everybody know this is happening. And, um, yeah, one of the things that is so interesting that I remember about water fasting before, and... I haven't really made it past day three in a long time, so to be at day five and I'm I'm coasting through, I should be coming through on the day six soon. Um is that should oh the the lack of sleep that you like you just don't get as much sleep when you're water fasting because as your body's not doing anything, so you like think and wake up like that. Um, side note, I'm on day, like, four, day five. Why are people asking me if I want chicken? Fried chicken. Like, of all things. Like, I'm going to, want some, you want some chicken? Boy, order some chicken. You want some chicken? Like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> You've seen me once today, and I've come down here only to get my water. Guys, water and electrolytes is what I'm doing. So, and electrolytes have no calories or nothing like that, but it just, it helps to make sure that uh, my appetite stays in check. So, um, I will be back. I just watched my video and realized that I had not made the announcement as to how many days. So, we're going for that amount. And then I think I'm doing three more after that, and I may even extend it beyond that. So, I'm excited, but definitely count on the first. I think I said, did I say 12 days? Yeah, 12 days, 12 days, y'all. Let's keep it moving, let's keep it moving, yeah. Mm. Um, one thing I do wanna note, um, I learn something every single time I fast, every single time, and this time is no different, you know? And what I learned this time is that we have a side that we battle with a lot, which is our very negative side. And, oh, and my skin is, like, acting crazy. Like, really, like, it was very smooth. Then these popped up yesterday, and I don't know what the heck this is as of this morning. But, and, yes, I'm very dry. And I'm drinking well over a gallon of water a day well over. I'm moving. You understand what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, learning about the shadow side of myself, um, which is always there. It's just the side that I think I fight to control a lot. She stepped forward this time and she's like, I will not. You will balance this mess. You will balance me into your life. I'll talk more in detail about that later. But I wanted to announce this, and I wanted to stay on my day, every day journal of this fast. So I'm sorry I haven't done it, but I will be now being held to the fire. Okay, guys. See ya. Peace. Hello again. So something I'm noticing that I'm not finding on YouTube, I'm looking. So it doesn't mean it's not there. I just haven't run across it yet which are fasting and praying videos from people that are not Christian. Um, specifically spiritualists like myself. Um, because that's probably a catch-all phrase for a lot of us that just practice different um, Aboriginal traditions from around the planet. Um, but still are very spiritual, still have... Um, a very deep personal relationship with um, spirit, universe, ori, your inner being, God. It, it's really like, I'm like, I can't find anything. And I'm really becoming very amazed by the fact that I cannot find a thing. 
So I figure I'll probably start tagging my videos right along that basis because a lot of us fast and a lot of us pray, but we don't do it with the rhythm and the Christian message or Islamic message for that matter. But I haven't really bumped into videos from people who practice Islam. It's been a heavy dose of Christian videos, which I don't have a problem with. None whatsoever. I think you can get tools from anybody. But it's very interesting to me that I'm like, I'm trying to get to the back end of the scroll. Um, I knew to, to type in some people's names that I really started learning all this from well over 20 years ago. And so it's starting to pop up there, but it's still not this. It's turning into more fasting and detoxing. Um, I fast for literally spiritual reasons, you know, um, to come closer to um, my process. Um spiritually and that is an entire process for me it's like meditation in the morning it's there's so much that's involved in it but it's very seamless it's part of my life it's part of what I do every single day to move forward and as we do move forward we realize that things you know happen and we have to let things go. Fasting is one of the best ways to do that because you get clarification on so much and then prayer throughout the day and then resting, like really putting your time into this, visualizing, because it was, it was part of my process. I was visualizing because I've known I was coming into this process way ahead of time. I knew I had planned this months ago, so I knew it was coming. And I'm not one that, you know, I haven't checked into a clinic or anything like that. And I, I would love to experience that maybe one day. But being a person, I'm an avid faster. Like, I believe that you should be putting down the fork and leaving the plate and the food alone for some time every year. You know what I mean? To just clear your system out. But not just to clear out your organs and to, you know, be smaller and all that. I mean, also your mind. I mean, get clear about the people that you're around. Get clear about your processes and how, if what you say you actually do. Just, you know, really holding yourself accountable for the life it is that you say you want to live. And as a person who's extremely spiritual, I'm feeling like, where are the people that are saying the same thing <laughs> from the same standpoint that I would be saying it from? I am not really finding them online this morning. And I'm really looking. I've been in Google and um, the Google. And I'm on here. I'm on YouTube. I've been searching this morning. And I'm not finding that much. So um, I'll probably tag my videos that way from now on. Because there is a community of us out here who fast for spiritual reasons that have that are not part of mainstream religions. It's plain and simple. You know, so I figured I'd put that out there because that, you know, I'm getting up. I'm in this bed. I'm meditating. There have been disturbances in the house more than normal. <laughs> when I'm moving about my regular day, I don't have this issue. You know, I'm up much earlier, but no, cancel that. Because as I mentioned in my earlier video, I'm up pretty early today. And I need to mention I went to bed like around two something. Like, when you're fasting, you do not need that much sleep. And when I say fasting, I mean water fasting. There are so many different fasts that I see on here. I'm like, yo. <laughs> I'm looking for 
specifically people who are water fasting and I'm um, doing that. So I'm going to be incorporating in my process because this is bathing in herbs and dill on the run. I'm going to go downstairs. I have um, a money bath that I'm getting ready to take and, um, you know, get myself treated for the day, um, get my body treated and put my oils and creams and stuff like that on and then just lay back, meditate. You know, I'm going to drink as much water as I can now as I'm, you know, to make sure that I'm on point with that. Because that's the one thing when it comes to water fasting, you have to actually drink your water. Like, it's not just drink water and sit around and torture yourself with things. But I have to say this is um, probably one of the best fasts that I've ever been on. I think it's because I was prepping myself way ahead of time. The visualization was there, honey. Let me just tell you. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to come here and say I will be the flag for everyone who fast for spiritual reasons that are not Christian. Um, and also not part of any other mainstream religion that does it. Cause there are quite a few, I mean, like quite a few, I mean, we all know about Ramadan and, um, there are quite a few other religions that fast, but I mean, the onslaught, I'm just like, I can't find anybody where I need to resonate kind of, you know what I mean? I like to read things. I can find a lot of blogs now, so I'm reading them, but I would like to see someone's, um, video. I did see one person's video yesterday who I felt very inspired by, but I don't think she has an entire process, but I'm going to check, really check her channel out and see if she's done more than one fast. Because you'll see here, if you look back at my channel through history, I've been fasting for years. It's my thing. So, yeah, can we put that flag up? I'll be uh, posting this video later on today. All right, guys, peace. But listen, this is a word. I just... You know what? You use the tools that are in front of you. I will be here posting. But I just saw a video from this girl. She's clearly very Christian. But she just gave me a word, honey. You know what I mean? And I would not use the terminology that she used. But her heart came through so strong. It was like spirit was talking to me. Like, <laughs> And at the end, she's like, don't give up don't give up and it's like i'm hearing them saying that to me you know what i mean like my worries like and do you get the do you get the point of mirror <laughs> i'm like yeah i kind of get it <laughs> so there's a message anywhere that you're looking for it but i think it would be really good okay this is such a raw video because i'm literally fasting i just went downstairs some Palo Santo was delivered and some rose incense and um, some stuff from one of my shrines. And I had a very good morning, like, ooh, a very awesome morning. And after this weekend, I'm going to tell you, I'm so glad I'm fasting. This is one of the best times. This is the beginning of 2020, in case anybody ever watches these videos. It's 2020. It is January the 6th. And I started my fast on January uh, 2nd because it's I have certain traditions that I do on the 1st in this house that are like ancestors focused and food is part of that process. But then, you know, what was it? 10, 26 at night? Boom. I was, in, you know, into fasting mode and I've just been doing it. So, yeah, you can get a message from anywhere. I had a very... That was very much on point, and I'm so grateful, so grateful. Day five, day six will be tomorrow, but I'll be here. Yeah.